Hello ladies, Miss Linda here. So today I want to talk about risking it all. How to have a hard conversation with your man and still get what you want. If you're new to this channel, um, please subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos on seduction, femininity, and just how to elevate your romantic experiences. So relationships always go through a cycle um, where there's interest at the beginning, then it sets into a comfortable um, scenario. Then at some point, you will hit the rough patches. And that's really just inevitable because that's how humans are. So you may find yourself in a scenario where you've been experiencing quite a bit of a challenging time with your man. And probably you feel like if this goes on any longer, you just can't take it anymore. And it will eventually mean you making a difficult decision, like maybe breaking up or, you know, it really just signifies a change in your relationship. So how then do you go and have that difficult conversation with your man? Or maybe it may not be that you are about to break up. Maybe he's done something that's really hurt your feelings and you really feel like, no, you cannot let this slide and you want to have that um, hard conversation. So that's what I'll talk about. I'll explain to you some easy steps that you can use to really have a very impactful conversation so that you're not nagging and really truly get what you want. So the first thing is if you feel like your man has truly, truly upset you, this is the perfect time for you to really calm down. And calming down can look, you know, differently to different women. So it could mean you taking yourself out of that scenario, or it could maybe even mean you moving out if you're staying together. The thing is, it's so easy for us as women. Yes, we are emotional, and that's part of our beautiful um, thing about being a feminine woman. However, we also need to be able to know how to control our emotions. And usually romantic relationships have a way of really triggering our deepest wounds. And that's where sometimes we can just go into an outright rage and just spoil everything. So the first thing is if you feel you've been triggered by your man, take yourself out of that scenario and just calm down. When you're at the point where you're calming down, you're able to soothe yourself and then just gain clarity in terms of exactly what it is that you're looking for. So for instance, he, he promised to take you out on a vacation or on a date and then you're ready. He's not shown up. What do you do in such a scenario? Or you could be hanging out together. Then he makes a really crude comment like, oh my goodness, you've put in so much weight. And it really triggers something within you. These are the times where you step back. Okay? Center yourself. Calm yourself so that you're able to really um, put on a more rational approach in terms of how you're going to deal with this. Now, when you find yourself like you cannot, you know, the thing is, when you explode emotionally in such a scenario, first of all, your man will automatically feel defensive. So let's say he says, oh my goodness, you look so, don't look good in that outfit. You attack, then what will happen? He will attack. Before you know it, you're both going on each other's neck. He starts to get defensive, and then you still do not get the issue addressed. It still does not take away the pain you're feeling from his rude comment. So calm yourself, take yourself out of that scenario. Then the second thing, once you've centered yourself, ask yourself, what exactly are you looking for? Like, what is the expected outcome going forward? Is it that you'd like him to be more respectful? Is it that you'd like him to treat you in a particular way? depending on the scenario that you find yourself in. If, for instance, you're married and you decided to move out, don't immediately rush to have a conversation right after you've moved out. Remember, different scenarios carry different level of weight. So please give yourself time to really think about what exactly it is you're looking for. Now, once you've centered yourself and 
chances are when you pull back, because you know, first of all, pulling back, leaning back is a very feminine thing. The masculine will want to come and pursue you because he will notice like you're detaching, which is, first of all, not very many women have trained themselves to detach from a very emotional topic. So he will come back to you and start to ask you what is wrong, what is happening. If you don't feel ready to have that conversation, delay it until when you're ready. You could thank him for his concern and let him know that uh, at the moment you really don't feel ready to have that conversation. And you could then schedule a certain time when you'd want to have that conversation. And during this period, remember, I cannot emphasize this enough. Please know what exactly you're looking for as an change in the behavior or in the dynamic so fine you've decided to set a date you said okay so let's have lunch on such and such a date maybe we could talk more about the scenario that's fine so please remember even as you're going to have that conversation you still need to look fabulous so for women the way we do war is very different from the way men do war Men are generally very, very combative. Women, we have it within our power. Seduction is our superpower. So I had this very interesting um, scenario where there was a, it was actually a story where there was this big, huge wrestler and he was arm wrestling with everyone. And he claimed that, okay, so he was the greatest arm wrestler. So all the strong men came to compete him. Of course, one after the other, he was winning the war. Then this, little babe came up to him and he was like of course first of all why would such a petite woman want to arm wrestle i mean he's the greatest arm wrestler so she's like you know what i can beat you do you know what she did she went and pecked the wrestler do you know all defenses all resistant resistance faded away so easily this babe won that I'm wrestling much as simple as that okay so look the, the thing is we have our own ways of dealing with men and getting our way and it truly does not have anything to do with combat if you go toe to toe with a man I can tell you you will not win first of all by nature they have more testosterone they are stronger they are bulkier they are built for war so you as a woman you cannot use the same strategy if anything you'll just awaken his desire to win and compete and to defeat you that time when you start to engage in a combative thing with a man he's already seeing you as another man which means war so as you're preparing to go and have this conversation make sure you look beautiful and then the most important thing is what is it that you're going to talk to this man about so let's take the example where he missed a date and probably he didn't apologize. It, the easiest thing for women to do is to go and tell him, you missed this date. And in fact, that was not the other, t the only time two weeks ago, you also missed the date. The other time you did not communicate with me already a man switches off. He immediately starts to become defensive because guess what? You're blaming him. And anytime you blame somebody, he gets defensive yes what you're saying is true however the most effective way to communicate something that you want done is by going into your feelings and many women really feel so vulnerable they feel so scared to talk about the feelings underneath him missing that date there's a feeling that you felt Probably you were scared he was abandoning you. Probably you felt uh, sad because you could not rely on him. Maybe you were fearful that he was pulling away. Men respond to our emotions, our emotions underneath the situation. That is the one thing that's going to spark him, first of all, to pay attention to you, open himself up, so that he can be able to truly soak whatever it is that you're feeling. It will melt his armor and immediately he will truly feel guilty because guess what? 
you are speaking from your emotions. And remember, you're a babe he cares about. You're not just any other person. You're a woman who he loves. So immediately you go underneath the situation by expressing what that made you feel, whether it's sadness, whether it's fear, disappointment. I can guarantee you this man, first of all, will pay attention to you. And then most likely he will ask you, what can I do to make you feel better? Immediately he asks you, what can I do? Then you can be able to bring up whatever suggestions that you may feel that you have so that you can work towards, you know, um, whatever outcome you're looking for in that romantic relationship. So um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, very quick video. I felt it was so important because, yes, um, a few weeks ago I had to go through a similar scenario with my husband and it worked so 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 well I mean he was so receptive I was shocked because usually my default was like if he does something wrong I come with the exact same scenario if maybe he forgot to do shopping I'm like babe you didn't do shopping so it, immediately he clams up and then it becomes like a back and forth but this time I was really able to sit down and really think about what is the emotion underneath that I felt and for sure we were able to work towards resolving the issue so let me know uh, what do you think and stay tuned for many of the I mean of such videos that I'll be posting bye